Hello Capricorn, this is your September 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Capricornian type people, so take that into consideration. But let's see what's going on for September, beginning September 2018 for Capricorn. September 2018, Capricorn. General reading. Victory, possibly. You may have a victory. Hope you can see these. The light may be too bright. You may have to dim it. But sometimes it's just too dark. Let's see what the incoming energies are. Oops. Get this going. Let's see. We have the Queen of Discs in reverse. Is that your energy? Are you in reverse, Capricorn? Are you feeling kind of out of it, out of sorts or whatever? Because the Queen of Discs, that is your energy. Or it could be another Earth energy. It could be a, a Taurus or a Virgo. But this is incoming energy. And you may be feeling a little turned around for some reason. Well, we're going to find out. This is the uh, stalker card for all the zodiac signs. It's the main energy coming in. It's the moon. And the moon, when I get it, I don't like it. It's To me, it's always a negative omen or secrets or deceptions. And it seems to be haunting a lot of the zodiac signs. And happiness is crossing it. So someone's trying to take away your sunshine. That moon is trying to do its own little eclipse. I'm going to turn these around. I don't know why I do that. Ooh, good card. Another good card, pretty much. Let's not share these. That's about oppression. But you are turned around yourself for some reason. Let's find out why. Got the sun crossing the moon. Sort of like your own little eclipse, like I said. Why are you there, the moon, and the sun crossing it for Capricorn? Why are you there? Page of Swords, words were said, things came out, cut like a knife. Give me another word, give me another one, another card. Just tells me that words were said. King of Pentacles, possibly to you. <clears throat> the subject at hand, you got the moon, the sun is crossing it. Maybe words were said, or maybe you found out a message that was pretty abrupt. And you were in the upright, starting out. Even though the income and energy showed it turned around, something must have got you turned around. You're basically an upright type person. You're sound, stable, established in your own mind, either way you should be. Independent. Everybody looks up to them. Good in the community, usually. So you have that opportunity or like I said, it could be another earth element or someone taking on that energy. Now your goal is the Eight of Pentacles. That's to work hard and what you want. It's in the upright, so you're able to do it. Knight of Cups, maybe have an offer to somebody. Maybe get an offer or maybe offer somebody something because you got the Knight of Cups. When a Knight of Cups, it could be an individual. It could be a water sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's also the Knight of Cups is someone bringing you news you like to hear. And it has something to do with your work. And it's something you actually love. So I'm thinking your goal is someone to have someone offer you something. Or you're going to offer somebody else that has to do with work. Let me find out for sure. Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups for Capricorn. You got a lot of your own energies here. There it is again. You're, you're pondering what to do. I think you're going to be pretty successful in this area. You, if you go for your goal, because they're all in the upright, it's like the universe paving its way for you in a way. It's when it's in reverse. It's like you're trying. You're trying to do it. You know, and it's it's difficult. It's not that you can't, but now the foundation here is someone may be getting a little defensive. Someone may be trying to one-up one another, trying to um, take control of a situation. But I need to know more information. I need another card. But it has to do with defensiveness. And we do have a lot of Mars energy going around. You know what? It was going in your sign. And I think it's, I don't know if it's still retrograde. It won't be retrograde. 
by time September is. It'll be going back out of your sign. But Seven of Wands, why are you there? The Sun again in reverse. A little defensive because you're not happy. Or somebody else isn't happy with you. It could be a lover situation. Now, in the past, there was a love offering. It was a nice love, of, a love, a nice love offering. It was something that a lot of people like to get. It's the beginning of something. Could be with the can of cups. Could be a water energy or someone taking on an energy. Again. And they're usually a little bit older. You know, more mature, nurturing. Positive in many ways. Something didn't exactly pan out because you got a victory card in reverse there. Let's find out why. Because there's no give and take. Someone made an offer, but it's like someone did more giving. And the other did more taking. Whether it's you or the other person you're involved with, I don't know. You can tell me in the comments. But it was a pleasant new offer, but someone did more taking than the other. And then giving. But in the near future, and I mean the near future, you've got the four of pentacles. Like I said, you've got a lot of pentacle energy, but it is your energy. You're the master of this energy. But you have the four of pentacles. In the near future, so you're going to be holding tight what you got. You're not going to be letting it go so easily, whether it be finances, um, your time, spending your time with somebody, giving your emotions away, whatever. You're holding back in the near future. It could be because you got a lot of work you're wanting to do, because that is your goal. You may be shutting a few people out, but there may be some offers coming in, but for some reason, you may be holding back. I wonder why. It's, it's like you're just like you're not looking for any of these options. Can you tell me why? Because you got an offer coming. You got offers all over the place, but it's like you're like putting a putting it aside for now for some reason. It's like you're. It's like I don't have time for this. That is again. It's like ships coming in, wanting ships to come in. I mean, you may get an offer. So if you don't want it, I understand, but. It's a good offer. Now, in the possible future outcome or advice card, you've got the Ten of Wands, and it's like carrying a burden. You're carrying a heavy burden, Capricorn. And it, let me see what the universe is trying to tell you here. Ten of Wands. Why are you there for Capricorn? Why are you there for Capricorn? Ace of Cups, it's like you're not accepting any offers. It's like you're just carrying these burdens. You're working very difficult, very hard, or you're just carrying a, a heavy load. And it's like you're saying to some of you, just some of you are saying to people, I have no time for no new love offers. I do, I, I, I got to get things done. I got to, I got to work. I got to study. Whatever you're doing, it's going to be different for everyone. But it's like you're letting these offers go and, and, they're there if you want them to take. You to take. Now, give me another card for the Prussian card. And the Ace of Cups, why are you there? Because you're wanting some finances. You want your independence. You're not wanting to be connected with anything or anyone. That's understandable. Now, the outside environment, what's coming towards you, could be friends, family, workers, or whatever, is the Prince of Swords. The Prince of Swords, why are you there? Why are you coming towards Capricorn? And you are in reverse. What is that? And the Knight of the Pentacles in reverse. you got a couple people coming towards you that aren't happy. One's an earth element and the other one's air. They're taking on this energy. And you know what earth can be. But air can be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So I'm thinking you got some people coming towards you that are kind of Gonna be maybe a little disruptive or not some ha or not happy with you. Or you may not be happy with them, but they're coming towards you as reversed. And the universe is saying, don't be so heavy burdened. Don't turn away the cups. Because you have a way of making things work out. It may not seem that way, but you do. You have the ability, you have the control. You just don't know it. But Prince of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, why are you coming towards Capricorn? 
This tells me you got two people that are turning around coming towards you. Yeah, they're not willing to work with you. They're not liking the way you're working. They don't like what you have to offer because that's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. When it's in the upright, someone working hard or working on something diligently. But it's in reverse. So maybe these people, maybe they're working for you. I don't know. And they're not working hard enough. Or they could be complaining that you're not working hard enough. Could be. Now your hopes and fears, Capricorn. Judgment, adjustment, getting things done the right way. Make sure things are, are all your T's are crossed and your I's dotted. Adjustment. Your fear is adjustment and balancing these things out and making sure they work. And you're wanting them to. So that's your hope. Page of Wands, Passionate New Offers. I'm thinking this is a hope. You're wanting adjustment, balance, justice. Everything legally to work out in your favor and, and positive messages. And quick messages. You want them to, to hurry up and get here. Maybe some competition. You may fear a little bit of competition at the same time. Now the outcome for Capricorn, someone from the past or things from the past or childhood past memories. It's a lot of things, the Six of Cups. Sometimes it is someone coming back from the past. Sometimes it's nostalgia, thinking about the past. But it's in the upright, so it's positive. Let me see. Six of Cups. Why are you there? It's called the Pleasure Card in this deck. That deck there. Let's find out. Why are you there? For Capricorn. Good cards. It was someone you thought was a hopeless situation. Or maybe you're thinking about, you know, it's just hopeless with them. This person from the past or whatever happened in the past. Let's find out more. Because I'm thinking something's maybe coming back you didn't think was going to happen. Queen of Pentacles, and I don't know if that's your own energy, because it is an earth energy, and she's in the upright in the end. And, you know, earth energy sounds stable, well-established, high, highly regarded in the community, usually. Intelligent. Good-looking in their own way. But, whether this is you, because it could be an earth energy, someone taking it on, or, could, like I said, it could be another earth energy. They're there. They're in the upright. So someone you, I think, you thought was a lost situation or a hopeless situation may be coming back, or you may be thinking on them intently. Queen of Swords. She could have that energy, too. Queen of Swords. That could be an air energy. Or someone taking on an energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They're in the upright. These people are in the upright. You thought they were lost causes. Tower situation. You're not. Ex you're not going to expect them to come. It's going to leave things changed in your life. Okay. Now this is the near future. You're holding back. Like I said, you're getting offers, but you're like not really take biting. You're not biting on these new offers. But in the end, in the distant future, and I'm thinking, I don't know. It's going to be past September. In the distant future, and I mean. Usually on average it's six months, but it could happen sooner than that. Someone from the past, think about someone in the past that you thought was hopeless. Could be a couple people, and it's going to be a tower situation. It's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. And you're not going to just hang around and wait for it, though. You're going to keep on going with your life, and I'm just letting you know it's there. Someone in the past coming back, it's going to shock you. Okay, something you're not going to expect. You may hear, you may even just hear something, but it's going to be really profound. Okay, so Capricorn, that is the main energy I was given from the universe, and I will let that go, and I'll be back in the middle of September or before that um, to give another energy reading to see if I can get anything else for Capricorns, a different energy. Talk to you later. Bye.